Game over. Alex got his first one. Hammered you. Good job. Dude, that's freaking sweet. I don't got that much hair. So. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my. Hey yo, what's happening, YouTube? Welcome to another video. You like that, Alan? I think that's a new intro, man. It's a new intro. What's happening, YouTube? Is that, is that a little too weird? <laughs> I don't know if, it's a, if you guys like that. I mean, comment below. I mean, YouTube's kind of cringy anyway, so we're gonna make it happen. But anyways guys we have a cheap versus expensive fishing challenge today as you can tell we're outside of walmart as you can tell got my boy alan right here the peacock bass fisherman we're probably gonna go to the amazon this summer or maybe even i don't know we're gonna figure something out we're gonna be filming some peacock bass fishing but that's gonna be awesome so stay tuned for that one in this cheap versus expensive fishing challenge today we're gonna be doing it over spinner baits that is one i have not done that's one that you guys suggested and i'm super excited about it today the only problem people is it's super windy outside because a hurricane is actually blowing in and when i mean a hurricane is blowing in it is blowing in in a few hours this is kind of like one of those things i mean it's like about to happen so we're about to get out there. We're gonna be doing some fishing. By the way, stay till the end of the video because I am gonna be giving the fishing tackle that I buy in Walmart. I'm gonna be giving it away at the end of the video. But don't go ahead and skip. Don't do that whole deal. Just wait till the end and we'll make it happen because we got some juicy content. So let's get inside. Just made it here inside of Walmart. There's a lot of people in here buying groceries because the hurricane's about to hit and I have zero food in my house, so that's something I'm gonna have to do after this video. But anyways, we have the fishing section right here. We're gonna take a peep at what spinner baits they have. I know they have a one dollar one, so that's gonna be the cheap one, but I'll show you guys that here in a minute. I see a lot of different ones right here, but let's let's see what we can get. Here is all the juicy looking spinner baits right here. One dollar ones down there. It looks like we got some booyahs, some strikings, and some more booyahs and some more strikings. <laughs> looks like that's, that's like the only two brands they have. Alan Bob, what do you what do you think? Hashtag Alan Bob below. That's his new nickname for the for the channel. What what do you think for the like? All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna both decide. But what do you think on the spinner base? Like the expensive one. Expensive one. Speak up a little um, bit, Alan. Don't I be don't, don't be like, shy. No, we, like we just have well, to make it happen. Well, this like, this is what we gotta do first, Alan. So, as you can tell by these, obviously these are really those are babies. We yeah. those are out. All right. Then they have these. These are four dollars because this is the cheap versus expensive. So that's the main thing we gotta pay attention to. And these are five dollars. And then some buzz baits. And then these are six dollars. So that that looks like the most expensive spinner bait that they have. Let me see. That one looks juicy, man. That one's. Oh, uh, no, that one's that. right there. Yeah, I was about to say. It's this one. All right, so let's see. Either that one or this one. I really like that one, honestly, dude. I don't know, man. That one is three eighths. These are half. Yeah. I'm thinking we get one of each. One you of think each. that's fine? Like just yeah. one of each? Yeah, let's so, do that. One of these. So this is about $7 with tax. KBD spinner bait right here. This one's like a sexy shad. The chartreuse on the belly. And that one's just more of a natural, you know, color. It's got a little bit of white and then blue swirl. Down here. We got the $1 spinner baits, the Walmart special. I've actually made a video on it months ago. Um, I actually caught a, a few good fish on it, so it's not half bad of a spinner bait. But you guys know at the end of these cheap versus expensive ones, I do do, I do do, I do do, I do reviews over the baits. So let's see what we got. Mainly, they, they don't really have like a chartreuse, like oh, that's a buzz bait, but I mean, the skirts are the same here. Like, that's not really like a chartreuse spinner bait. It's more of a, I mean, it's, it's, the colors are so off, but I mean, what do you really expect with a dollar spinner bait? Yeah. We could get one like this. I'd say, I, I really like this one the best. Yeah, let's go with that one too. The white? Yeah. All right. You just let's, wanna get one of like a chartreuse one and a, and a. Like a natural? Yeah, yeah, I was natural. thinking like, I'll buy two. Where's another, is there another white one? Right there, so I'll get two white and like one of those. Get three total. I think that's fine, right? Yeah, that's fine. Is that good? Yep. Is that good, Alan? Let me see what yep. you got. Juiciness right there, right? Juicy. So two of those and three of these $1 spinner baits. Mm -hmm. 
All right, Alan, meet you at the pond, bro. Let's go. The first process of this whole challenge is obviously to rig up. It is extra windy, guys. Extra windy today. But honestly, I don't know if you guys can tell, there's a bunch of clouds out. We got some wind, so you know what that means. Spinner bait. Spinner bait. Mmm. Juicy today, I promise you. I'm just worried about the recording. I'm worried about the film. That's my only concern, but we're going to tie up right now. Alan, actually, I have one question, bro. So there's a cheap and there's an expensive one. Which one would you like to throw? That is very kind of me, bro. No, I'm letting man, you it pick. It don't matter for me. It don't matter. What, what are you thinking, dude? I don't know. The expensive one looks juicy. I knew he was going to say it. He's like, oh, I'm going to leave Noah with the $1 one. All right. Alan will throw the expensive one and I'll throw the cheap one. All right, here you go, Alan Bob. Which one would you like, though? So you got the natural and then like the sexy shad with chartreuse in it. Oh, with this one. That one? Oh, oh don't. Oh. No. Alan. Gosh. So that one? Yeah. Yeah, that's juicy. For me, I'm going to be going with not this one. Since he's throwing like a another one, I'll just throw this white one right here. Gosh, Alan, you're really putting me on the spot. The $1 <laughs> spinnerbait. I've caught big fish on this, matter of fact. So it's going down. Bob, you can't let me beat you with the $1 spinnerbait now. This is gonna be the one challenge where the $1 one just kicks the other one's butt. I gotta kick your butt, Alan. Go. Leave your suggestions below on what you think's gonna win. About to go down. Make sure you check your drag now. Oh my God. Dude, did you see that? First cast, dude, he hammered me. That's where I saw that fish kinda. Dude, he like whacked my blade. First cast. I'm actually glad I didn't catch him. That's like bad luck, but I don't know. There he is. Yeah, I got him. He's not that big. It's like a pound. But that is first fish of the challenge, baby. One dollar spinner bait. He choked that thing. Look at that, baby. First fish of the day. That happened pretty quick. That's a good sign. Look at him choke that one dollar spinner bait, dude. I'm impressed. I mean, it's not a big fish, but guess what, Alan? Fish is a fish, bro. <laughs> On the one dollar, you cannot let the one dollar beat oh, you. Pretty little bass. <laughs> that thing is so skinny. Look at that thing. That is like the skinniest bass ever. First fish of the challenge, baby. Oh my god. Alan's got his first one. He's a decent one, dude, ain't he? Good job, Alan. There you go, bro. There's one on each. That's not a bad, dude, that's a healthy fish. Hammered you, good job. There you go, bro. I know we're enemies right now, but good job. <laughs> on the expensive spinnerbait. So that's one, one on one right now. Pretty fish, bro. Good job. All right, man, I'll give you that one. Good job. Guys, <laughs> the wind is freaking real, look at this. It's crazy. Alan Bob, what do you think about this, man? This is pretty wild, ain't it? I don't know. I don't got that much hair, so. <laughs> we're going to the next location. Pond number two, we're gonna see what's happening. We each got one fish, so one on the expensive one, one on the cheap one. Honestly, I'm kind of satisfied with the first place. It's kind of like a hit or miss. This spot's a, a hit or miss too, so I'm hoping they're gonna be here. Either way, we're gonna catch some fish today, so do not click off the video because I promise you, it's gonna be good. Oh, with the sewer run into the water's kind of high. Oh my gosh, what about fell right there? God. Yeah. He ate it right away, right on that grass line. Fish number two on the cheaper, cheap old spinner bot. Hooked them all weird, man. What's a good sign though? This first fish, look how fat these guys are. Look at that. He's definitely healthier than the other one. Yeah, definitely healthier than the other pond. Second fish on the cheap one, third fish overall. Let's get back out there. Yeah, right there with that wind. Should be some right here. Did that just break? It just broke, didn't it? Oh, I got your line, bro. I got it. Wait, wait, wait. Gosh, Alan, you're such a mess, man. I don't even know why you're still on the show, Alan. Gosh. God, dude, did you see my line? Dude, he, look, he ripped my skirt off. Throw in there. He like took off to the right with it. Oh my God. Oh my god, bro. What? Dude, what? I'm so confused. I thought that was 
possibly the biggest fish of my life. That was, what in the world, Alan? That was some crazy stuff. Throw in there, there's, there has to be more. Dude, what in the world? I don't know if you guys caught that on camera, but this fish literally ate it like a 10 pounder. I don't even know if I had a bass there for a minute. See ya, buddy. Whoa. Alan, I don't know what's happening, man. The $1 is killing it. The $1 is killing it. I'm kind of impressed with it. I'm kind of surprised, man, to be honest with you. Because you just threw two casts there and you didn't get a bite. I don't know. A little chunky, dude. Whoa. <laughs> it might be that smaller profile. And it could be the white. Maybe they want that white. I, I don't know. I, I, if I had to guess, it could be that smaller profile. Oh God, bro, what? Alan, dude, I don't know, bro. <laughs> this $1 one is whipping it. Should be some right here. Dude, they fight so hard. I gotta turn my back to the wind. <laughs> I apologize, guys, for this wind. This is really, I mean, there's nothing I can do. Is either we film this video or we film none at all. So I'm trying my best to get the wind noise off the camera. All right, Alan, I'm letting you get first cast. Never been to this pond, could be some giants. Alan Bob gets first cast, go for it bro. Whoa. Well, it's never to catch a fish on your first cast. <laughs> Put it on the second. Show me one more. Oh dude, this looks juicy. One more dude. Done, Zo. Go for it. God, dude. You got a fish? What? <laughs> Bro! <laughs> no, I didn't. Dude, that's a solid fish right there. That's a good one. I'll take that one any day. I thought it was like three pounds for a minute there. Island Bob hooked him one while getting the camera. Dude, that's freaking sweet. Double up right here. That's a beautiful bass right here. Gosh, that's crazy. What what happened? I don't know, bro. I literally sat the rod down and I felt it move. I was like, <laughs> what? Right. Double Dude, up. double up. That's freaking sweet. <laughs> Definitely the best one by far. That's a solid two and a quarter. Thick and healthy right there. Here he goes. Oh, dude, that's freaking sweet. Ah. That was insane. That was bro. crazy. <laughs> you get him? <laughs> God. That's a good one, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's seriously a quality one. That's definitely the second best. This is a decent little fish. Solid pound and a half. Just like that. There you go. Yeah. Good job. Dude, that's a good one. There you go. Oh my God, you won't believe it, bro. I was being an idiot. One, I was being an idiot. Yeah, and he was about two and a half, three pounds. I literally saw him. Yeah, that was stupid. That was very stupid of me. That was like all my fault. I had one arm on the rod and I was like questioning myself whether it was a bite when I knew it was a bite. Dude, I was jigging it like a jig or a worm, dude. Right off that pipe. That was so stupid. <laughs> if we had a drop shot. It's about slowing down. Dude, that was crazy. Oh, oh, what? you didn't see that? Did. The fish just slapped me in the <laughs> See ya, guy. Oh my, dude, that was like insane. It was a two pounder, yeah, I was just trying to be all fancy. Dude, I cast it like that with one arm. I lift it up and he already had it. Game over. Dude, that's a good one. Get that net. I mean, <laughs> that net. Get the camera. <laughs> this is the best one yet. Oh, that's a good one, bro. <laughs> Get the net. Get the net, Alan. Get that net. Get the net. What? 
What? Bro, what in the world did he just spit up? Dude, is that a salamander? What is that? It is. Ugh. What is that? It's a salamander, bro. Look at his head. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude, that was, that was gross. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Definitely not the best one, but I'd say definitely second best or maybe third best. I don't know if he beat the one that you caught, but that's a pretty fish. First time I've seen a fish spit up like a little lizard. That's pretty crazy. Smash that thing. I said game over. It's game over, baby. <laughs> Watch my line. Oh, you have them like, yeah, that's why. I thought you had a giant. <laughs> That'll make any fish feel big. <laughs> what in the world? How in the heck did you even hook him like that? You got him good too. It's not a bad fish though. He's a fat one. <laughs> God, I thought you had a giant. That was crazy. All right, Alan Bob. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. For the YouTube. On the old one dollar spinner big guys. If you guys are trying to save some money on some lures, I mean heck you catch this fish. I'm not gonna say it's better than the expensive one, but catch a bass, baby. Nothing big, but these things bite so hard I cannot explain it. you guys how I'm catching them today you know on the spinner bait throwing around all these cypress trees it's grass in this big old pond catching biggins let me show you how I'm kind of working this bait here very windy Got all these cypress trees in the middle all that pine straw pine straw is really good for bass if you guys didn't know well everyone we're about to end this bad boy off but first i want to give away these spinner baits to one lucky winner so this is what you got to do you got to follow these instructions so make sure you're subscribed to my youtube channel there's a little notification bell make sure you click that bad boy like the video and comment below something about my channel that you enjoy what types of videos whatever it is if you're new to the channel what t comment what type of videos you want to see and leave your instagram handle or Facebook handle, any other platform, and that's what I'm pretty much gonna message you guys on. It just makes it a lot easier, so I don't have to make like a designated video over giving this away because I want to do this in the, you know, other challenges as well. I want to be giving away the product because, honestly, like once I buy it and use it in these challenges, it kind of just sits on the side. I'd rather give it to you guys because you guys have put it to good use, and that's what I'm really wanting to do. Overall, it was a really good challenge. Man, I had fun, but I hate to say it, Alan, I smacked your butt, man. On the, on the, 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 it, was, uh, it was a smaller profile, bro. Yeah, it was a smaller profile. I I promise you guys that one dollar spinner bait, like, I guess it can be worth it. It's not gonna catch as many fish. Like, I literally tore it up today. Like, I can't go out there another day with it. I'm obviously not gonna give you guys the one that I tore up, but I'll give you the new ones. But yeah, I absolutely tore that thing up. Caught a lot of fish on it. It was definitely the smaller profile that allowed yeah. us to get more bites on that. Um, that spinner bait that Alan has, I mean, that thing catches fish. I mean, I've caught a lot of fish on that spinnerbait in particular but i just think it really was a smaller profile possibly the white as well yeah um i mean yours was like a sexy shag color but then again it had the chartreuse i don't know if that would really matter too much especially in a pond you know in a pond like this most of those fish eat whatever it is yeah. but i just really believe it is a small, small profile though. that those smaller fish were really keying in on especially the bait in this in these little ponds that i mean they're small it's not nothing crazy overall everybody if you guys want to see another cheap versus expensive fishing challenge be sure to pepper that like button up. Let me know in the comment section below which one you would like to see next and enter the dang giveaway, people. Just do it. I would. <laughs> I would definitely. I would Go definitely follow my man Alan on Instagram. Some more videos coming soon. Thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys so much. And I catch you guys in the next video. All right, man. Have a good. That was a juicy one, people. 
I got sky like the weatherman, uh I crack cars, get hella bears, uh I got a bra from the motherland, uh I got shooters with us, uh I get it, get it up uh, anyway, uh Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh I crack cars, cook every day, uh I get money, uh, every day, uh